so guys just wanted to do a quick little uh, update on the channel as some of you may know my grandmother last I think it was Thursday morning yeah at 2 a.m. 2.30 a.m. something like that she uh, woke up I don't know if she even been asleep but she can been complaining of chest pains for like month and I've been trying to get her to go to the doctor and she was stubborn bullheaded saying no I'm not going to the damn doctor and stuff like that so 2 30 for uh, Thursday morning was probably the scariest thing I've ever had to go through like I was like dozing off and something just like woke me up you know like you need to go in there and check cause she had to be sleeping in her recliner cause she couldn't lay down cause every time she'd lay down she would doze and then um, like those chest pains would become severe and she couldn't sleep and like she was eating nitroglycerin pills like they were candy and it helped for like a few minutes and uh, anyways like the scariest thing I had to go through like I hear her in there yeah I can't get up I can't get up you know my grandfather's on the couch and he's hard hearing and uh, the Vietnam War made him hard hearing and everything. And you know, bless his heart that uh, he can't hear. And anyway, I run in there and uh, she's sitting there like, and her sugar has bottomed out. She's diabetic as well. It was like 40. And I'm freaking out. So, and uh, I, and, I and, uh, she was saying, don't call the ambulance and mumbling her words. I thought she was having a stroke or something. Anyway, I grab the phone, I tell my grandfather to get up off the damn couch and excuse my language, but I'm saying I'm calling the fucking ambulance. I was like freaking out, shaking, couldn't even think straight. So finally got an ambulance out here and I just got her in the hospital just in time, man. It's like the scariest thing I've ever went through over the weekend. Like she wouldn't have been here today if I hadn't have got her up there Thursday morning. We sat in the ER for like four hours and then come to find out I went home and come to find out Friday morning they had to take her into emergency surgery to have a five bypass um, surgery to get all the arteries and everything and it's just still hard to believe you know that and it's like the scariest thing I hope I don't wish it on, on nobody you know and I just wanted to tell you that I'll probably not be making videos for a few days she's still in the hospital in the ICU and I've been just running over the weekend up to the hospital which is like an hour away so I just thought I'd let you know and uh, just keep us in your thoughts and everything and I hope you guys have a great night and thank you guys so much for report and uh, really means a lot and it's just been a scary situation I will see you in, in a couple of more days with a new video thank you guys